Romans chapter 6, verses 11. Likewise, reckon ye ourselves to be dead indeed to, uh, unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. What he tells us about right here about being dead to sin. You know, uh, Peter said, repent. Repent, you got to stop doing and say, I'm going to sin no more. But also he said, get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the dying to your sin. You die in water baptism, just like the children of Israel. Once they crossed the Red Sea, their sins died in the water. Because the sin, the world, Egypt, could not cross the water. It drowned in the water. So it died in the water. But you're alive through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Once you get the Holy Ghost, you're alive. You're a new creation through Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 6, verses 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death. Buried with who? Like Jesus. We are buried in water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. Same thing. You get the Holy Ghost. You're walking in the newness of life. It's a new creature, a new you, a new person that's emerging. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man has the Holy Ghost, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Again, that's that death. That is the burial in Jesus' name. Behold, all things become new.